Gamers all around the universe. We are here today to show you something really, really cool. I actually found out this today. I didn't know it existed. So as you guys know or may not know, this is AOE4 World website. It is the best website for any information, ladder ranks, stats, whatever you want regarding Age of Empires. It has civilizations, units, buildings, technologies, that all the unit stats, comparisons, statistics from the ranks, statistics above certain ELO, under certain ELO, and certain league. Whatever you need, it's in here. It even has stuff like 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, when each Civ has the highest chance to win, all the good stuff. But what I found out today, if you go on tools, check this out. There are more things and I wanna quickly go through them, but the main thing we're gonna be discussing is Aegis or Aegis. Not sure how to, how to call it. It's a tiny mini game for browser to practice your hotkey thing for buildings. I'm gonna show in a second, but because there's so many good things, I'm gonna quickly go through the other ones so first there's a counter calculator. So you can basically pick like, let's say, you know, your win rate on Altai sucks. You can pick Altai, uh, you can put like, uh, you don't know how to be Chinese. You put opponent Civ Chinese, then you can put whatever ELO you want. Like let's say above 1.2K, latest patch, calculates, boom. And it gives you all the ladder games on Altai above 1.2K and shows you, oh, China has the lowest win rate against Delhi on Altai, so you can counter pick if you'd like, or if you want to practice, or if you, whatever, right? There's a lot of good stuff like this that you can use on a 4 World, which I think is, is really, really good and really, really uh, cool. Uh, another thing is Twitch Video Finder. Now, this is very, very useful. So let's say you're a new player or you're, you know, you've been playing for a while and you don't know how to do a certain matchup, right? So what you can do is you can pick, like, let's say you play only Chinese, or let's say you play only Delhi and you want to find out how to play Delhi versus French. You can search your Civ or whatever Civ versus French. Rating range doesn't matter. Uh, let's say 1.2k above and then you can even pick the game length, right? So you can pick whatever game length you want. You can also pick a map, but I'm not going to do all the specifics. You click find and what it does, it's going to find all the Delhi versus French that was streamed on Twitch. So all these games that you see here, you can see the ratings of the play, oh, the ratings of the players and stuff. It's gonna find you all the games in this matchup on the rating you put. And if you click right here on this purple thing, which is Twitch's logo, it will open a VOD of that match that you search for. And it's amazing. It's actually amazing. Like think about it. This shit's free. Yeah, even Marine Lord in the chat didn't know. Even Recon in the chat didn't know. I found out about this today. It's actually sick. If you struggle with any matchup, like you can pick French versus English. You know, that's a popular one. You can go above 1.5, whatever. You can find uh, that English is losing a lot, right? But then you can see right here, this noob that we all know this noob is, or some of us, but he's a terrible player. But you can open that, you can click right here, and it's gonna go to the noobs VOD, and you can see, oh, how did he win with English? So, next thing, I'm gonna show you this a bit later. This is an overlay for team games, so if you're streaming, you can download an overlay for team games, it shows all the, uh, the opponents. Uh, there's a build order tool, and production calculator. Build order tool is uh, basically you can make a build order. This is what it looks like. It's just like a more visual build. Instead of writing down, it's kind of more visual, like six workers on food. You select town center, train scout, then train two uh, uh, workers consistently. You rally TC to sheep, yada, yada. So this tool right here is for that. So you can add like, you know, you build two workers and you build a mango now and stuff like that, which again is really cool. And I've been making guides for each Civ, and I made a guide for French and English and Mongol. French and English, people already made, uh, and it's linked, to, it's on Reddit, they made uh, this kind of build order thing for uh, my guide. So yeah, it's really cool. Uh, you can make whatever you can add. Uh, obviously, it's not going to work all the way into the late game, but, you know, it's pretty cool. And then the last thing, which is also very, very cool. So this is a calculator for production. So you can say... H2, if I continuously make archers, right, one archer range, 
how much workers and wood and food do I need? So you can click here and then it's going to calculate how many units are produced per minute for one archery range, how many workers you need on wood, how many workers you need on food. Okay, it's really good. So this is something you can use to nail down the build orders to a T with exactly how many workers you need on each resource to consistently produce. This works for H3, it works for H4. You can even select a different um, gathering like boar, deer, sheep, and yada, yada. Uh, so yeah, it's really good. Uh, again, the website is AOE4 World. Now, the last thing I wanna show you guys is why we're here today. This thing. If you struggle with hotkeys, like you're pepegaing, you know, you, don't, you, don't, you can't do it quite well, this is like a mini game that you can practice on the website. Again, all this is free. I'm not paid to do this. I'm just trying to help and make a little video for you guys, okay? So check this out. Tiny game to practice AOE building shortcuts. I I'm not sure how it works if it's like the standard hotkey overlay because I use the standard, so it works for me. If you've changed some hotkeys, I don't know how that works, but check this out. House, QQ, Doc, QD, Lumber, Boom, 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 fuck, boom, 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 boom. And then it gives you at the end 25 buildings, actions per minute, accuracy, fastest building, yada, yada. Now, what's really cool is if you click play again, it doesn't show the hotkey. You see there? Look, I'm going to do QR. Check this, it doesn't show the hotkey, it gives you a little bit of time for you to remember and then it shows you after that, which I thought was really cool. Like if you can't remember, you're like, uh, then it slowly shows, right? So it's a great way to practice. The good thing about this is you can select all ages and military buildings, which I thought was also really cool. You can also select civilization specific. Look at that, you can select civilization specific number of buildings for each game. You can select the show key labels and buttons, fade in. Like, it's just fucking cool. I don't know what to say. So now if you start again, uh, archery range, stone wall, barracks, QX, oops. QZ, boom, house, stone tower. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. <clears throat> stone tower is a little tricky. I haven't built stone tower in forever. But yeah, anyway. Uh, you get the point. If you want to practice this, it's free. Again, you go to AOE4 World website and you just click in the tools over here. All the other stuff that you might want to see or whatever is right here. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that, guys. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, let's keep going.